Il-lum um, sejt kellu tifuq il-kafe, għanna esperta għanna fit kafe xtiġorba u ekko għanna għanna il-kultura ta' kafe minn fejt ibda, speċjal minn sa' kemm għanna tasal fuq il-mejda, ta' għanna tasal fik kratan għanna biċin għawdu għammi għaj għandi l-Jennifer Sand. Hello Jennifer. Hi. Thank you very much for this. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this, to learning. My pleasure. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's start from the beginning, shall we? The coffee bean, because here I have yes, various we'll stages of the coffee bean, right? Yes, so obviously um, coffee beans, there are two types of coffee beans. There's the Arabica and the Robusta. Okay. Each different blends um, can have both or separately. Right. So you can either have 100% or non-100%. Okay. Um, and then, of course, the ratio depends on what you're looking for. Obviously, the ratio depends on what you're looking for, your taste buds, because each bean gives two different characteristics. Right. So the Arabica would be the smell and the acidity to, to an espresso, whereas the Robusta would give the body and the creme on top, the beautiful creme on top, which you see in various different espressos. Right. Like for example, our espresso oh. would have that sort of, yeah, that's of a, yeah. yes, that beautiful that. creme on top. So it. obviously, right. the diff as you're seeing over here, yeah, it's so there different, are different, sti stages. different, different stages. stages. At least in the coloration, there's a different, there's exactly. a variation. So obviously, it's depending <coughs> on um, from when the green bean comes, obviously the stages of the roasting process. Now there are four different stages okay. of roasting processes. Uh, each process will give you different flavors. Now um, we, where we, we stop it at this stage because it gives you the nutty, the caramel, the vanilla okay. smells, the, the and flavors inside are very, uh, very, very good espresso. So over roasting would give a different yes, flavor which you're yes. not looking for. Burnt for burnt ah, flavors, ah, okay. um, woody flavor. So it would give in the, in the smells right. and the senses these these kind of characteristics. Whereas, Whereas you're selecting where something which is giving a particular exactly so character since, profile. Since yes. our process is very slow roasted. Slow. Uh, yes very slow to get all the characteristics of the beans, um, to get them all the same right. intensity. It's a bit like slow cooking in general, exactly. no? I mean, when you overcook exactly. or cook too fast, you burn off those aromas and especially here, you you're looking for get... smells exactly. apart from taste. No? Exactly, exactly. And the smell so of coffee is, 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 is iconic. very intense a, and mm. uh, if you don't really realize how much that goes into an oh, espresso sure. then the smells you just have to sit down close your eyes it's the best way to smell something sure. and imagine where that's you lost smell that smell that's from. what i do every morning but that's with my own coffee at home this is a bit of a more refined approach to it yes so okay once the coffee is actually picked and roasted, and roasted it's eventually it eventually yes. comes <coughs> into big bags right. lovely and roasted quality ones. control quality at every stage quality control yes. every single stage from when the green bean arrives to the roastery to when it actually is roasted till it's packed and rested and given to us rested as well yes it needs to have 10 days resting period so that the flavors and the aromas come out of the bean so it's if it doesn't rest then you're going to have a huge problem for, for the flavors if you open a bag of beans once it's roasted you're going to going to smell in it that's really it true. that's it so this is it. I mean, this is, reminds me. I mean, I, I have a wine background. So, uh, but the process, the attention to detail of every step of the way, it reminds me very much of, of the wine culture. It's very, you know, very similar. Very similar. There's a certain uh, yeah, twinning because it is starting. It is a natural product. Yes. But passes through then a the human the, touch. Yes. Eventually. Yes, of course. And eventually, <coughs> we obviously. Right come to the coffee shop and every single barista needs to be fully trained. If you're right. not trained into handling such fine quality beans, then you won't make a perfect cup of coffee, which everybody loves nowadays. It's such of an course. adrenaline to have that first maybe cup of coffee in the yeah, morning yes, yes. or I mean, the meeting. I mean, we have here two finished coffees here that are ready for us to enjoy. Yeah. I'm waiting until this feature go is over before I really enjoy this. We have two Different versions, different expressions of yes. the same coffee bean, yes. but but obviously it goes into the detail of the extraction of the coffee. So how much um, coffee right. you're going to stop and start the liquid, obviously coming out of the coffee machine, and as well obviously the type of milk that's used on top of it. So which could vary from yes, one. Yes, because right. um, where we work, we make what's called textured milk as well, which is a different type of milk completely. Right. So basically, what you're creating is a kind of a micro foam. So basically milk which is frothed which you find in a cappuccino right. and or in a latte which is steamed it's this is in a bit in between of the two so basically what you're getting is a microphone so baby 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 bubbles little tiny ones yes 
and once you make it, you can actually have the design on the top. And this is just, I mean, aesthetic, but it also gives a lot of uh, importance to the detail, to the attention, it's not even at the presentation. Even in presentation, but what will happen is the taste will be totally different. So when you have actually, when, okay, when right. it's not only detail, so obviously so the, the milk, as well. yes, right, of course, for of course, example, these that. two drinks, you're going to have a well-balanced taste between the two right. of them, rather than a cappuccino. This is interesting because every time you're in a coffee shop, you come to the side, you pick which coffee you're going to enjoy, which one do you want, there are so many different uh, options available yes. and to realize that each one is not a matter of size or a matter of okay there's a whole different approach to each coffee that yes. I can choose from day to day right exactly in the presentation exactly. the preparation of it yes it takes a lot of intensity I mean a barista is trained for at least four weeks um, early a month to make sure that they know exactly what they're using the grind of right. those that is done for the for the process to make that perfect espresso Once so what are the that, secrets okay you're, you're training for a, a, a proper cup of coffee yeah what are the secrets the secrets are basically knowing how to have the grind and dose process so basically making sure that espresso comes out 100 percent right to obviously knowing the, how to use the machine right knowing each and every extraction of every cup of coffee and knowing the types of milk that is used in every cup of coffee that's a lot of hard work so yes. from now on i've got a lot more respect for the barista behind the counter to know what he's doing Yes. Jennifer, thank you very much. Can I just enjoy this now? Of course, of this course. This is a? Corto. A corto. To you. And to you, Jane. Thank you.